take a look uh, underneath the Giardo. Uh, just kind of quickly looking at it. Everything looks really nice and clean under here. Uh, I'll get a little more detailed uh, video here in a second, but for right now, we'll just kind of just kind of go around underneath here. Actually, turn this way so I'm not getting all that backlight from the garage door. So let's start here underneath the engine and transmission. You can see everything really clean. Uh, there's no signs of any leaks. Look here on the drain plug, it's dry as can be. Looking at some of these fittings, no issues. There's like no leakage at all. That's just water. Look up under the rear wheel, you can see the axle boot uh, cover is good and intact. If you look up closely, you can see the bushings all look good uh, on the connector there, as well as at the base of the shock. Uh, this uh, boot cover is in really good shape too, off of the box. Over here to this side. So same thing. Axle boot here looks great. Try to get up in here. It's a little hard, but yeah, you can see it's really good. I mean, even the stickers are still on the uh, rear axles. Um, see that boot cover looks really good. You can see uh, these bushing. Well, I'll try to get up in here. There's only so much room, but you can see. That the bushings uh, here are in good shape. You can see these bushings are in good shape as well. You can see on the, you can see the, I mean, even the factory markings still on intact on on these uh, bolts. Uh, all the undercarriage panels are in good shape. Uh, you can see here we've got another drain plug. Factory markings are still intact. We've got nothing leaking. Dry as can be. You can see the, uh, up here everything looks good. See the cooling hoses, there's no leaking there. at the uh, drive shaft everything looks good there I'm just amazed you can still see all these factory markings you can just see how clean everything up in there is this is awesome such a nice example especially for the miles on a 20 uh, 20 year old car so let's go down again all the under carriage panels here in really good shape. Let's take a look here at the front suspension. Uh, again, just like the rear, the uh, axle boots are in really good condition. There's no tearing, uh, no issues. There's nothing leaking. Uh, bushings are, again, uh, all these bushings are in great shape. The only thing I've noticed so far, I've got a little bit of scrapage right here underneath the front lip on this side, and a little bit of scrapage right there. But other than that, there is nothing. Everything is in really good condition. I mean, obviously, as always, you got a little bit of scuffing on the little lip here. Uh, we'll take a look here at the passenger side. Again, everything looks good under here. Axle boot looks good. Bushings on the control arms look good. That boot looks good. I mean, again, all the factory markings are still intact. That's really cool. Uh, and again, like I said, too, the stickers on the axles are still intact. Uh, coming down here, nothing to point out. So let's take a look down the... 
underneath the rockers. You know, a lot of times these are scuffed up really bad or cracked or gouged from, you know, going over speed bumps. Uh, this, uh, the passenger side is like next to perfect other than, you know, some road grime. Um, same thing on the front uh, corner of the lip. Uh, nothing there. Looks like there's one little scratch there. Um, that is, feels like it's on top of the clear bra. We'll look at that a little closer uh, when we detail the car. Um, over here, got a little bit of a scuff there on that. It's hard to see with the lighting, but there's a little bit of scuff right there on that corner on the underside of it. Um, you know, one of those areas you gotta be under the car to see it. Oh, I can slide under here. There it is. Again, coming down the driver's side underneath this rocker. I mean, no damage, everything's super nice. Um, while it's up here, take a look at the wheels. Uh, I don't see any evidence of any repair work on that wheel. That's the driver's rear, uh, driver's front. I don't see any evidence of any repair work there. Come over here to the passenger front. I do not see any evidence of any repair work on this wheel. And lastly, let's look at the rear passenger. I uh, do not see any evidence of any repair work on that wheel either. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see it in the video, but date code looks like late 2020 on the rear tires. So they're probably three years old. Uh, front tires, get the date code to show. Right there, that's again, late 2020. Uh, tread, ample tread on the fronts and the rears. Just double check the date codes on this side. Um, yep, again, 2020 on the rear and our front tire. Find the date code. Right there, if you can read it, it's 2020 also. Uh, looking back here at the rear diffuser, there's no damage to the rear diffuser. Looking here, I've got no leaks or seepage. Here at the back of the transfer case, everything just is really nice on this car. So one of your questions I know was on the catalytic converters. You can see the cat's intact there. Uh, the exhaust looks and appears to be completely stock. I don't see anything that would tell me otherwise. The O2 sensors are intact, uh, but that looks like uh, the exhaust, from what I can tell here, uh, looks like it is, it is uh, completely stock. I don't see anything that would lead me to believe that it's not.